checking out the Robo Maker Pro from Clementoni, and this is Science Museum approved. Obviously, it uh, supports STEM skills in many ways, maths, engineering, and coding, and it makes a lot of models. There are all those different ideas, um, and then you can program it. And you can use it with uh, a tablet or a phone. So let's have a look what's in the box. Not the neatest of things in the world, but here we have the electronic motherboard. This is a bit precious. Carefully stored. That will be very interesting to administer. Uh, All the electronics in there, and your tracks, presumably. There is a sheet of stickers, a, an instruction manual, which is all in English. Um, this is quite a thick pamphlet. You have a game play baseboard, which opens up. And then you have all the pieces to build your models. And they're all on the sprue, which is unusual. Uh, so it's going to take a little bit of time before you even get started. But at least it will give your children an understanding of what they're actually going to be using. And they'll recognise some of the pieces before they start. There are also at the bottom some cutouts which are actually part of the box. So if you use those, I think... Oh, no, hang on. No, it's an insert. We're good. So we've been sent the Mechanics Laboratory, which is for slightly younger children, 8 plus. It's a smaller model. But this has got 50 different models that you can make just from this one set. So there's a lot of added value with these. More than 350 pieces even in this little one. And it's proper engineering as well. Well, it's differential to activate the uh, rear wheels. Or a diff, as we used to say in off-roading. So... This is the instruction manual for this one. Again, it's really big, but then it, it offers so many different models, you can understand why. And it is actually very easy to understand. There are bright colours, clear illustrations, so it should be okay to follow. And again, everything's on the sprue. So yeah, you have a bit of a job before you start. No inserts or cards with this one. But we're not doing this one today. We are doing the robot. So when you look at the book, what you realise is it is absolutely full of information and background about all of the parts in the, the robot. And then once you've learnt all that, then it teaches you about programming and about how different things uh, like motion sensors and proximity sensors and infrared work. And then it teaches you there's the block based programming, which is very easy to follow, and children are, are used to that from school. And then it has a series of projects that you can take part in where you can learn the skills one by one. And my son's chosen to build this because he thinks it looks like a praying mantis, so that works well. And that's activity one, which would be movements with various variable speeds. And it to, it takes you right through and activity three flee from predators four is sumo which uses uh, proximity sensors and then we have line following which is really impressive and then we have it uh, guarding and locating a box which is what you make from the uh, insert in the box so actually, it's a really, really complex set of instructions and a really complex manual to teach a child all kinds of different programming skills. So what doesn't appear in the uh, manual is the instructions for the actual builds, which you get via the RoboMaker app. Now, the instructions clearly say what size you need of things. But actually, I mean, there's a 7.2 and an 8 centimetre. There are lots and lots of very similar sizes, so you've got to be careful. Uh, if you don't have a ruler printed on your table, I suggest you use one anyway. 
we're about to put together the brain. Here's our uh, praying mantis at the moment. Do you feel like Dr. Frankenstein? Probably a bit, yeah. So when you're on the so when you turn on the app, you go onto the starting screen, and once you've fully built your robot. Then you click on create, and then you pick which robot you have made. The Explorer, Spider, Sumo Bot, Guardian, or Droid. Uh, I have the Explorer. This is the coding. And search. So this is the start. And you, this, you can make it go forwards. But then you have to go on here. And pick how long it goes forwards for. So I've choose, chosen three seconds. Then I want it to make a sound. Right there. And I want it to do that sound for three seconds. And then I want it to turn around three seconds <laughs> oh no you're changing it four six six seconds point five spin all the way around okay and then move forwards four Oh yeah, it's three seconds. Shall we see what that Let's does? Let's see on the road. Okay. Oh, it's spinning his head. He's looking at me. And he's off. And there we go. Well done. And did you think that was easy? Yeah. Cool. You can go back to the starting screen, click on the little control button, pick the robot you have made, and ah. from here, you can control you can, this one can only make sounds and move, but other robots can do more. Yes. I do like his droid noise. It's uh, it is a noise that actually, apparently, it's to converse with other robots. Ah. Bit of re re readjustment, and our praying mantis will now follow lines. And this is the mat that's included. That is very impressive. Let's have a look at the coding for that. Oh, right, did it just say follow? <laughs> follow for as long as. Okay. There are the two sensors which follow the line. And just uh, fasten them onto the front of this model. Just quickly plug them in. Um, and taking off some of the extra bits on the top. <laughs> 